Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Sorry if that clap was loud. I hope that you guys are having an awesome day. I actually just finished doing a video for you guys and it was an hour and 16 minutes. So I thought it was a little bit long. I am gonna put it on, um, but I think I will do a shorter one and then I will put that one on. <laughs> Um, in a couple of weeks. Anyways, guys, uh, today I am going to do an upper body complex involving that core, okay? I am going to do it on the knees for the most part and we'll do it in some planking positions also. I'm not going to work to the beat of the music. The music will be in the background so you can just listen to it and, you know, be maybe energized by it. Um, other than that, I'm gonna go with eight pound weights because I wanna be able to work my way through all of these exercises without having to put the weight down. Um, if you want to go with heavier through some of the exercises and lighter with up some of the exercises, feel free to switch it up. That's just kind of the way I like to work. Um, other than that, if you don't wanna use anything, you can use your body weight. Uh, you can follow along with the movements. If you're just starting out, that is completely amazing too. Just bring your beautiful body with you and we will do this. So I'm gonna warm it up just nice and easy because we are just really generally gonna focus on the upper body and the core. So let's warm all of that up, okay? So let's just take a big breath up. Tuck the elbows in the back pocket. Exhale, open up the chest. And then inhale, exhale down. Inhale, back up. Arms to the side, roll up those shoulders. Okay, let's do that again. Take a big breath up. Exhale, open up those elbows into the back pocket. And then exhale, forward fold, nice and easy. This time we'll roll it up like ragdoll, one vertebra at a time, just to warm up that spine. Shoulders back this time. Let's do that one more time. Big breath up. Tuck those elbows into the back pocket. Open up that chest, those shoulders. Exhale, forward fold. Slowly ragdoll, nice and gentle. Roll out those shoulders. Give me a flat back down for four. Four, three, two, and one. And roll four, three, two, one more time. Flat back, four, three, two, one. Roll it, four, three, two, one. Just let the arms float to the side. Floating them out. Oh yes, floating is good. I hope you guys are having a good kind of floatful day. Last four, three, two, then add a little T-spine rotation. Take the arm center, just open, look towards the arm that you're moving back. Oh yes. So you should feel this nice open through the shoulders and the chest and the biceps. That's it guys, beautiful. Can we go two more of those guys? Last two and last one. Bring the arms up and down. Bring them up, bring them down. Big movements through those arms. Getting everything warm. Oh yeah. Let's go four more. Last three. Last two. Now I'm gonna do a couple of walk downs, all right? Now if you don't wanna walk down, you can use the step or the couch to step out, okay? And then just walk back nice and easy. Setting up that core option is always to step out, step in, bring it back up, okay? Wherever you're comfortable, just zip up that core, push the ground away. Let's go a couple more. Wherever you're comfortable, walking down, slowly walking back up, okay? Beautiful. Just take your time. It's a slow pace. I'm gonna go one more time. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Beautiful, guys. Bring it back up. Arms are up and down again. Just big arms. Awesome. You got it. Four more. Four, three, and then I'm just gonna move side to side a little bit, shift it out, just shift side to side, open up through that side body, you got it. Beautiful. Four more, four, three, two, and then last one, and then just give me a step touch with a bicep curl. 
Just a little bit of a bicep curl, a big bicep curl. That's it. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Give me a little kick back, tap back, elbows high in the side, warm up those triceps a bit. Awesome, you guys. Throw in a tap back just because. That's it, let's go eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. And then just press those shoulders up. A little shoulder press. Awesome, you guys. That's it, let's go eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then just finish it with big circles. Bring it around, bring it around, bring it around. And then the other way, bring it down. Awesome, you guys. Two more, one more, and then give it a good shake. Awesome job. So let's pick up our weight. Let's take it to the floor. We're gonna do two rounds. We're gonna do 30 seconds of each exercise, okay? So we're gonna take it down. We're gonna place ourselves on one knee to start with. So the pelvis is nice and squared, nice and tall. We've got a string from the top of our hips. Ribs are flat. We're gonna start with one. I've got both weights beside me because I am gonna use both. I'm gonna start off with one. So we're working unilateral. We're working that core. We're working that balance. We're working that upper body, okay? Pulling the shoulders back. We're just gonna go with a curl and a press to start with, okay? So we've got 30 seconds on the clock. Remember, pick a weight that is comfortable for you. Are you ready? Here we go, 30 seconds. So we wanna extend that elbow close to the ear. That's it, awesome. Really, again, make sure, be mindful you're not arching your back. You're not using your back and you're not letting the ribs flare. Awesome, so 30 seconds here. Squeeze all those muscles in your core, your glutes, so you're nice and stable. We've got 10 seconds, okay? And then we're gonna hold a strict shoulder press. Okay, I think we can get one more in there. And then we're gonna hold it here and we're gonna go for 30 seconds of a strict shoulder press. So if you need to break it out, break it out. So we're gonna press up, keep that core nice and strong, breathe, squeeze. Awesome. Shoulders can be weak. So if you need to take a break and you feel like you tend to wanna to throw your lower back in there, I don't want you to do that. I want you to stop and take a break. We've got five seconds to go here. You don't need a lot of weight when it comes to shoulders. And last one, beautiful. Bring the weight back down. We're gonna hinge, we're gonna place the hand on the thigh and we're gonna go into a single arm row, okay? So we're gonna squeeze that shoulder blade in the side. So I'm gonna move so you can see me right here. So long through that spine, are you ready? 30 seconds, squeeze that shoulder blade. Don't think so much of the elbow coming super high. Think of that shoulder blade pulling around the spine. But 15 seconds to go, guys. Nice, solid, strong core, breathing. Awesome, remember you can always have a chair or a couch to hang on to. Let's get two more in there, guys. And then last one, then we're gonna come up and we're gonna switch sides. So I'm gonna bring my weight over here. And again, zipping up that core. Shoulders are back and down. Transitioning will be our rest time, okay? So other side, we're gonna curl it. We're gonna press it. We've got 30 seconds on the clock. Here we go. Curling, pressing, think of everything strong. Keep the ribs flat, no arching the back. Chin's in. Keep it at your tempo, okay? Awesome, remember, just listen to the music. You do not have to go to the tempo. This is not about the tempo today. We wanna to stay within control. We've got five seconds left. Awesome, one more to get in there. And then we're gonna hold it, take a breath. Again, nice and strong through that core. Single shoulder press, we're pressed. 30 seconds right here. Rotating that palm as you come down and rotating as you come back up. Awesome, you guys, keep that core strong. 
that's the whole exercise here is working that core at the same time taking out those hips so they don't get involved when we're standing sometimes we want to throw everything else in there okay we've got five seconds left guys oh yes shoulders last one right here beautiful take that hinge forward zip up the core nice and strong are you ready here we go so again relax the shoulders from the ears shoulder blade right around the spine try not to think so much about that elbow going high it's all about tucking the shoulder around the spine that's it we've got 10 seconds left awesome job guys last three last two and last one beautiful center yourself back in switching out so we're gonna go back on both knees we're gonna pick up both weights we're gonna zip up that core and we're gonna go into a little bit of a bicep curl for 30 seconds so palms are up so we're just gonna curl all the way up slow on the way down rotating our pelvis in or not our pelvis our palms are you ready here we go squeezing good squeeze of that top lots of control on the negative so don't let that weight just drop have the control zip up the core we don't want to move through that lower back we don't want to move through those hips we want to be stable that's why we're picking the knees today awesome you guys 15 seconds to go good squeeze at the top awesome we got this five seconds here we can do it guys okay last two and then last one Okay, shoulders are relaxed. Now I'm gonna go into a frontal lateral. If you wanna switch weights, you can. We're gonna go one in front, and one side. One in front, one side, okay? Shoulders back and down. A lot of core work here also. Here we go. 30 seconds. Take your time on this one. I gotta bring my palms down. So you can go either thumbs up or palms down in front, wherever is more comfortable for you. awesome you guys okay 10 seconds to go eight pounds is heavy here I gotta try and stay still okay one more awesome those ones are hard now we're gonna drop one weight we're gonna take that weight out and we're gonna extend in front really focusing on the core and of course some shoulders involved but they are part of your core so we're gonna extend out and we're gonna pull in are you ready 30 seconds it's out bring it back in zip up that core keep everything happy you got it beautiful let's get a little round robin here oh yes okay 10 seconds to go good extension zip up the core make sure everything is tight awesome you guys so go as far as you're comfortable with that extension let's go two more of those one more of those awesome triceps arms are up elbows in the ears and we're going to take it down and we're going to extend up now you can use both weights if you want i'm going to stick with one zip up the core don't arch the back don't let the ribs flare so tuck them in towards the pelvis towards those hips okay here we go 30 seconds so in and up that's it guys keeping everything nice and strong you got it and remember if you aren't comfortable with weight here you can just get rid of the weight and just extend and bend those elbows that's it 10 seconds to go guys triceps big muscle group but I find they fatigue fast that's it last three last two last one beautiful bring it down pick up that other weight we are going to go in to a bear crawl position so we're going to come into this position you can stay all on all fours okay and we're going to go with alternating rows so zipping up that pelvic floor we're going to row it out one at a time option is is to go into that bear crawl where you're hovering on the knees 
So zip up the core, pull the lats into your back pocket, and then single row it. So if you're not comfortable there, I want you to take it into this position and row it out. So zip up the core, 30 seconds on the clock. You got it, guys. You can go two at a time. You can go two down. You can go two up. Wherever you're comfortable. That's it. Push the ground away. Make sure the shoulders are pulled away from the ears. Go where you're comfortable. We've got 10 more seconds. A lot of core involved. That's it, guys. Last two. And last one. Drop down. Take a breath. Now we're just gonna go into the bear hovers. So keeping it nice and strong, we're gonna just come off the ground with the knees and back down. So we're going for 30 seconds, we'll go for four count holds. Are you ready? Here we go. Hold it up, four, three, two, one, back down, four, three, two. Now if you wanna stay up the whole time, four for the whole 30 seconds, I want you to back down so wherever you're comfortable you got it we've got 15 seconds so if you want to hold it you can hold it okay zip up the core push the ground away pull the shoulders away from your ears you've just got five seconds left five four three two last one release down and then we're going to step our hands off the weight we're going to finish off the set with a bird dog we're going to reach and squeeze fingers to the toes so opposite end of the room pelvis stays down again zip up the core and again push the ground away with that hand that's it guys big push awesome job squeeze and reach squeeze every muscle through the back side of your body, those glutes, those hamstrings, that core, all those back muscles are working. Okay, we've got five seconds left. Last one, and relax. I'm just giving it a little bit of a child's pose. Take a second, take it back up, circle out your wrists, give it a breath. If you need to grab water, grab it. We are going to go back to Sorry for that noise. I think the street cleaner's moving by. <laughs> Anyways, maybe you can't hear it, but it's pretty loud. We're gonna switch back to one knee. We're gonna go through that set one more time and then we're done. All right, so same thing, zipping up that core, bringing that one weight in, and we are going to go with that curl and press. So hip knee ankle, are you ready? Here we go. Curl it and press it. We've got 30 seconds, guys. Quick, simple workout. Focusing on compound moves through that upper body and through that core. It's a great, great way to get that blood flowing, that body temperature up. Hanging in there, okay, we've got 10 seconds. Awesome. Okay, we can get one more in there. Okay, so now we're gonna hold it, zip up the core, 30 seconds of a strict press. So we're pressing up. So we're rotating as we go up, rotating as we come back in, extending that elbow close to the side of the head. Remember, zip everything up. We don't wanna arch that back. Keep everything strong. 10 seconds to go, guys. As I said, Shoulders don't need a lot of weight. Okay, last five seconds. And last one. Oh yes. Hinge it forward, back to that single arm row. Remember, shoulders are away from the ears. Zip up that core, here we go. Single arm row, just 30 seconds on the clock. Awesome, so remember, I want you to keep it at your tempo where you feel in control, you feel strong within your form. That's the most important thing. Awesome job, guys. 15 seconds. You got it. Squeezing that shoulder blade right around the spine. Last five seconds. Last two and last one. Beautiful switch sides. Get that knee in a good position. Zip up the core, nice and tall. Other side again, back to the curl and press. 
Remember, if you need water, grab it at any time. Are you ready? 30 seconds on the clock. Here we go. Curling and pressing. Awesome. That's it, guys. Okay, 15 seconds in. 15 seconds to go. We got this. Not a problem. You got it. Three more seconds. Let's get two more in there. It's a little bit more than three seconds. Last one. And then holding it, take a breath. Back to 30 seconds. Press. Are you ready? Here we go. Pressing it out. Rotating as we come up. Awesome. Looking good. Okay, 15 seconds to go. Go shoulders go. Remember to think about that core. Make sure you're not using that lower back, okay? Okay, last five seconds, you guys. And then last one, and then we're hinging. Hinging again, letting that butt come back. Again, nice long through the spine, and then we're rowing in. I'm gonna switch directions so you can see me. Are you ready? Here we go, 30 seconds. Squeezing that shoulder blade right around the spine, pulling that belly button. You got it, guys. Long and strong. 15 seconds to go. Awesome. Keeping the eyes down so you don't want to look up and stress that neck. Relax the shoulders from the ears. Last four, what, five seconds, guys. Four, three, two, and the last one, step it in. We're on both knees again. So taking a big breath, <coughs> going back to the bicep curls. So again, core is nice and strong. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. 30 seconds on the clock. Palms are up, here we go. Good control, nice and slow on the bottom. Squeeze. Awesome. Just like I said, if you wanna change out your weights throughout the workout, Feel free if you want to go a little heavier on some than others. Awesome, 20 seconds to go, guys. Good curl at that top. Breathing, squeezing. Good control, good extension of the elbow. Okay, five seconds. Let's get two more in there. And then the last one in there, perfect. Relax the shoulders. We're going lateral frontal again. 30 seconds on the clock. One's in front, one side. Here we go. One in front, one side. Think of the core. We're not going any higher than shoulder height. Oh yes, these ones are hard. Don't need a lot of weight here. Take some breaths. 15 seconds to go. Good focus on the breath. Last 10 seconds. Okay, one more, one more. I think I need to get one more to get even. Oh yes, oh that was oh, so hard. Whew. Putting one weight down, grabbing the other. One weight in front, we're pushing it forward and back. So we're out and we're in. We've got 30 seconds, here we go. Press it out. Bring it in, zip up that core. Keep everything strong. And remember you're having fun. That is the most important thing. Oh yes. All about that core. Go with your extension as far as feel, that it feels good for you. We've got 10 seconds to go, guys. Last two. Let's get one more in there. Relax, shake it out. Arms come up, back to the triceps. Ribs are flat, so make sure you're not arching your back. Tuck your bum in a bit. Ribs are flat, here we go, 30 seconds. Keep those elbows tucked in the side. Remember, if you want, and you have good shoulder mobility and you wanna go double weight, you can. If you don't wanna do anything, remember, you can stay here. Go where you're happy, where it feels comfortable. Let's go for 20 more seconds, guys. 
zip everything up. Think about what those ribs are doing. They're not flaring. Pull them down. 10 seconds. Nine. That's it. Last five, four, three, two, and last one. Beautiful. Bring it back in. We're going back to again that kind of all four position. You can go on your bear or you can stay right here. So we're gonna single row, squeezing the shoulder blade. You can hover, you can go two and two, wherever you're comfortable. 30 seconds, here we go. So zip up the core, sink of the shoulder blades, push the ground away. Remember, if you wanna go two down and two up, or if you wanna stay completely down, let's go 20 more seconds. wherever you're comfortable. That's it, guys. Push the ground away. Sip up that core. Pull those lats into your back pocket. 10 seconds to go. Wherever you're comfortable. One more time. And relax back down. Awesome job, guys. I'm gonna bird dog first and then I'm gonna hover, okay? I'm switching it up. So let's bird dog first. Squeeze and release just to give that hover a second. So reach and squeeze the fingertips and the toes to the opposite side of the room, keeping the pelvis nice and neutral. So you don't wanna rotate that pelvis, okay? Square it up to the ground. That's it, guys. We've got 10 more seconds. Squeeze, breathe, we've got this. Can we get two more in there? And one more to go, and relax, okay. One more set of hovers, you don't have to be on the weight. Sometimes it feels better on your wrists. It keeps them in a little bit more of a neutral position. So on your mark, get set. You're gonna go holding or you're gonna just hold the whole 30 seconds. Are you ready? Here we go. So we're gonna hold it if you want. If you're not comfortable, I want you to drop down every four seconds, okay? So you can count to yourself. You can go four, three, two, one, back down, or you can keep holding, okay? Wherever you're comfortable. Let's go 20 more seconds, guys. Zip up that core. Push the ground away, pull the shoulders away from your ears. Pull those ribs in, pull that belly button in. So much to remember. Last five seconds. We got this. Hang it in there. Four, three, two, that was probably 10 seconds. And relax. And then just bring it back into a child's pose. Take a big breath there. That was it. That was our little compound upper body core workout for the day. A little bit of a quicker, faster workout. Sometimes we don't have an hour. Sometimes 20 minutes is great. And then just take a breath. Awesome. Take it back onto all fours and let's just move through our little cat cow. Just roll through the spine nice and gentle. Looking up, inhaling and then exhaling as you push the ground away and tuck that tail. Awesome. Let's go a couple more of those. Just rolling. And then lifting. One more time. Rolling. And then lifting. And then go back to that child's pose. I'm just going to push the weight out. Reaching. Open those hips. And then take a big breath and just walk the body to the one side. Nice and gentle. And then one more big breath, walking to the other side. Nice and easy. And then one more big breath, bringing it back to the center. Now, if you can, just tuck those elbows, those hands, try and reach them towards the shoulders. Open up through those triceps a bit more. And then place those hands Slide yourself in, bring yourself up nice and gentle to a 
half position, roll up. Roll up those shoulders, awesome guys. Take your time getting up, I don't want anyone getting dizzy. Let's just cross one foot and then cross those hands. I want you to drop the shoulders away from the ears and open up through the back, the back of the shoulder. Just take some big breaths. And then release to the other side. Awesome, and close those eyes. Good for us to work on our balance. In the end, know where our limbs are in space. Taking some big breaths. Awesome, you guys. And then release. Take those arms behind, drop the shoulders back. Take the head to the side. And again, just relax, close the eyes. And then the other side. Awesome. And then bring it back to the center. Just roll out those shoulders. Take one more big breath through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. And then roll out those shoulders one more time. Awesome job, guys. I hope that was quick and fast for you. Um, let me know how you like that one. Uh, I love it. It was fast, fun, work through the core, upper body. Kind of hits everything in a different way, and we like that. We like to do different things for our bodies. Our bodies like to be challenged. I love you guys. Remember to subscribe. Give me those thumbs up if you like it. And continue to leave me comments. I just appreciate everything you guys have to say. And I am trying to get more videos out there. Sometimes it's hard, um, but I love doing it. So I'm working on trying to do a little bit more um, when it comes to some shorter videos for you guys. As I said, I did a, a video today for an hour and 16 minutes and not realizing it was that long. I won't put it on for about a couple of weeks. I will put it on, but uh, we'll get some short ones out there for you first. I love you guys. I'm going to stop talking and I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself.